This is the second half of Minuet 3 from Suzuki Book 1. So we're starting on, um, hopefully you've got to grips with the bowing now, we're starting on an E4. That's a B. Make sure you've got a good hand posture so that you can get that. My little finger tends to collapse a little bit. Try not to get it to collapse. If you've got your hand in the right position, it helps. Okay, so we've got E. And we've got a low two. So make sure you've got your hand in the position so you can get that E in tune and you can get that low two, that G natural. Okay, so we've got. And we go on to the A string. And now we've got a high two, a C sharp. Okay, so up to speed, that should go like this. At this point, the pattern changes. We've got new material, we've got new rhythms. This is the first time we've had um, six quavers in a row in this piece. And we're still... Um, We've still got those high twos because we have modulated, we've changed key to D major and those C sharps, those high twos are helping us to get there. So on this line, we are modulating, we're changing key. We've still got that slur in there, really important to keep the character of the piece. And it's just a scale. And we go up to our low two on the E because um, we're in G major modulating to D, we still need that G natural, okay? Don't forget that up, up at the end of the third bar on that line. So I'm now going to play from that whole of that eight bars, which is from the double bar and your E4. the first half of the minuet uh, sorry the first half of the second half of the minuet um, now it again introduces a slightly different idea so we've got the three on the A straight over to three on the D string then we stretch over to a fourth finger on the E on the A which is your note E and then we play that again. So it's a beautiful little repetition, but with a difference. So that that third finger D to the E makes that um, makes that lovely little sequence. And we've got. Notice we're modulating back now. So we're going back towards uh, G major, so we don't need the C sharps, those high twos anymore. We're going back towards G. Low two, double up bow. Then we've got the slur. You can see the creeping back in the, the sequences and the bones from the first half. And then we've got a mirror image of uh, the line that we've just learned. So, where we had in the, um, where we did it in towards D major and we had our C sharp. We've now got it in G major starting on an open D. Low two, we're back in G. And a little embellishment there. Up, up, and then finish up there. So I'm going to play you lines on my music on the old edition. It's lines three and four. So it's the last section.
So that is the second half of the minuet. 